like a lot of kids, probably his first love is basketball. And so, you know, good in both. And when he came over here as a 10th grader, he just played basketball. And about halfway through the year, he, you know, he started telling us, I'm going to play football, I'm going to play football, which we were all glad. Tried to get him to play in the 10th grade, but he didn't. And so he came out last year as a junior, you know, in the winter, the, actually in the spring the year before, and did whatever came through spring. I mean, you could just tell he's a heck of a football player. Last year as a junior, he, uh, I can't remember the exact number, but medicine tackles was somewhere around 120. And just played really well. And then start off, the, and, and so you know what he can do. So then this year he's played, I mean, that Greenwood game, he was everywhere. Uh, just a just a good athlete, hard worker. I mean, has a lot of God given ability that he's taken advantage of. And I mean, he's a leader on our team. I think he's a leader for Coach Burnett in basketball. So you know, just a good player. So what 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 prompted you to miss to not want to play your sophomore year? What what were well, you just wanted to focus on basketball or, or what was it? Yeah, I thought I was just a I thought I was a basketball player, but fortunately I'm not. I'm fortunately a football player. You know. Uh, I just thought uh, basketball was my sport, but apparently it ain't. <laughs> what was it about Greenwood that kind of you know that kind of got you going? Um, I I ain't never beat them, and I wanted to beat them.